So hi everyone, I'm Lyndon from Home Central and I'm back to our playlist of Launchpad. Coming into 2022, a lot of questions were put forward with all the land sales going at record bid prices like those that you have seen recently. Such as an easy land parcel in Bukit Batok with an estimated break-even of 1,134 PSF or Dairy Farm Walk which has an estimated break-even of 1,646 PSF which likely means they may launch at 1,900 PSF for just about 20% profit by the developers as compared to dairy farm residences, a mixed development bidded in Q4 of 2018 which only had a break-even of 1,419 PSF which only recently was just fully sold earlier this year. So, the only question is really with these crazy prices, what can really be considered to be purchased this year? With the new projects launching, that is why to kick off 2022, we are bringing you one of our very favourite projects, Lift at MB. Let's go! Starting off, Lift at MB was an en bloc of Katong Park Towers in March 2018 with 10 bits which ultimately was awarded to Bukit Sembawang Estates Limited for estimated break-even of 1,889 PSF. Those living in the East, I'm sure you're all familiar with this location as we are located between Arthur and Mountbatten Road which many claim to be the Nassim of the East. As the landed houses here in this estate just opposite are in the high 7 figures or even 8 figures price tag with only semi D's and above. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the developer, Bukit Sembawang Estates Limited. Looking at their track record, they are very focused on landed homes which they do have vast experiences of over 4,600 built in Sembawang, Selita and Luxus Hill and more than 1,800 units in District 9 and 10. Which really tells you that they are either very focused on landed or luxury prime districts, giving you the assurance that they know what makes a home wow or breathtaking, which was what I felt when I came for the preview. So back to the project. Live at MB sits on a land size of 140,000 square feet with 80% dedicated to landscaping and 20% to residential. The comparison is this. If you add up the surrounding six projects around Live at MB, Live at MB is still bigger. And with this size, they only have a total of 298 units. And here is the breakdown of them for you. I'm going to be focusing on two points on our analysis of this project Lifestyle versus efficiency and affordable exit options Do remember if you have any questions, do drop us a DM on our socials or even give us a call and we'll answer this as best as we can Remember to like and subscribe too Firstly, we'll be talking about lifestyle versus efficiency and why Live at MB offers you both As I mentioned earlier, 80% of the entire plot is catered to landscaping but honestly that's pretty common for a lot of projects out there today. But that's not it, because coupled with the fact that Lyft sits on a huge land size, which is rare to come by, especially in prime districts such as this, you have an additional sky lounge in the southwest tower at level 13 and a roof terrace with an infinity pool at the northeast tower. With only two blocks, you face the landed Nassim of the East or Mia Palace, which is the shortest and smallest of the surrounding developments. Or you face an internal facilities view with a 54 meter distance between blocks. The essence of where style and lifestyle become one. Let's take a little breather while we enjoy the fly through of this project because I also really need to catch my breath. Next, 
let's talk about efficiency. And that will only be through the show flats. Live at MB have unit configurations ranging from 1 to 4 bidders. But when you start to look into the layout, you have some major plus points. So all living rooms are in a landscape configuration, which means you have a wider space to work around it. You have windows lining the entire living room, allowing more natural light to flow in. Unlike those usual ones, where it is a long living room and you only have windows at the end of the living room. So second is that you don't have wasted space because you don't have a walkway because that walkway forms part of your living room. So the key highlight is landscape living room in all configurations from one to four bedders. So secondly, all configurations comes with an enclosed kitchen that's naturally ventilated with a window. And as for the bathroom, all bathrooms are also naturally ventilated. This is not something special for the bigger units like the three or four bedders, but it's a huge game changer for the smaller unit configurations like one or two bedders. But sadly, all the one or two bedders have already been fully sold due to its limited quantity. Which is where I'm standing in this one bedder or the two bedder in this show flat. For the bedroom, there are too many to point out, but let me zoom in on some key highlights. For the bigger configuration units, the 1119 square feet, the three bedrooms are in a triangle layout which means reduced walk space in the walkway to the bedrooms because that's a substantial dead space. The three and four bedders balcony doors are all slide and swing allowing you to fully open up the balcony to incorporate it into your living room expanding the space that you have easily converting it from 25 square meter to 35 square meter or even up to 67 square meter for the biggest four bedders. And lastly, majority of the common bedrooms are at least 10.2 square meters and above except for the compact which isn't very compact because it's 1119 square feet with only one common bedroom being 7.7 .7 or 7.8 square meters while the others are at least 10 square meters and above. But sadly, most are already sold out, so snatch the remaining while you still have a chance. But to keep it short and simple, here are the floor plans that you can download in the reference link below. So moving on to our second point of affordable exit options. I understand one main concern is that Live at MB is a leasehold project in a freehold estate. But what does that really mean? It makes it much affordable when you purchase and makes it much more affordable when you exit too. Let's talk about exit. When it TOPs and it enters a resale market, in order for prices to go up, you need transactions. Firstly, more transactions increase the price which in turn increases the valuation of the property in today's market. Because usually for freehold, people buy with the mindset of selling at a certain price or when they don't need the property anymore as compared to leasehold which sellers sell when there's a profit of 100 or 200 PSF increase. This is seen in the surrounding comparison developments. And even in a similar estate such as Novena, where it is surrounded by freehold, where brand new estates or resale leaseholds are doing so well with the transactions. So if you really want to find out more in depth on why we think that Live at MB is our top few spotted projects this year, you can always reach out to us in the link below or drop a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed our analysis on this project and we hope to see you soon at Live at MB where a splendor of life awaits you.